Any Disney fans in the room? Disney is a magical place. It's magical because when you go there, your money disappears. <laughs> and that is the magic. To tell you this story, I'm going to introduce you to my son. His name is Josh Brown. If you met him, he would tell you his name is Josh Brown. He thinks it's hyphenated all one word. Josh has autism. We've known that since he was a little bitty guy. When he was seven years old, he discovered Walt Disney World. And if you know anything at all about autism, you know when these kids get something on their brain, it's the only thing that exists in the whole wide world. For two years, this kid obsessed about Disney. They drew my boy in. They had him hook, line, and sinker. When he got to the Disney boat, they didn't need a net. The boy jumped in the boat. For two years, Dad, I want to go to Disney. Dad, please, 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 when are we going to Disney? We waited until he was nine years old. We wanted to make sure he could enjoy the trip and it wasn't so overwhelming for me. <laughs> we packed our bags. We had our list. We took off. We got to Orlando four hours ahead of our luggage. Bright and early the next morning, we got up. I said, Josh Brown, where are we eating breakfast? He said, Dad, we're eating in this hotel. We're going to ease you into it. No lines, no trams. Smart boy, knows his father very well. We head out, and I'm going to make a confession to you. I told Lisa that I wouldn't work on this trip. I did not promise her that I wouldn't pay attention to what's happening at Disney. I'm in the people business. My clients are in the people business. I'm at the customer experience mecca of the entire world. I want to know how do they do what they do? How do they draw you in and make you feel special? Create magic over and over again. How do they get so much money out of your wallet and make you feel good about it? <laughs> Radar's up. I'm paying attention. Down the escalators, we get to the restaurant. Hostess greets us with a giant smile. Welcome, Brown family. We're so glad that you're here. We have a table just for you. I'm making mental notes. Giant smile, it's a brilliant way to start. Brown family, we love the sound of our own name, don't we? Table just for us, how special is that? Takes us to our table, hands us menus, takes two steps back and says, Brown family, may I be the first to wish you a magical day? <laughs> you people. <laughs> she leaves, the waitress comes over, waitress has no expression. Waitress looks a little bit ticked off. She comes over and looks at Lisa and says, can I get you something to drink? And Lisa says, you can, but I need to tell you, my son's on a very special diet. Lots he can have, lots that he can't have. And before she could say another word, the waitress put her hand in Lisa's face and said, ma'am, I need to stop you right there. I'm not going to be able to take your order. You're going to need to speak to the executive chef. And she disappeared. And now I'm ticked off. I have a boatload of money wrapped up in this trip. I have a few expectations. Smiling is one of them. If you could whistle while you work, I'd greatly appreciate that a lot. <laughs> from the back of the room, from the back of the restaurant, the executive chef, easy to spot, big white coat, giant Chef Boyardee hat. She comes out, she looks right at Josh Brown. She says, good morning, sunshine, how are you? He lowered his head and said, good morning, he's really shy. She said, my name is B. I understand somebody's on a special diet. How can I help? She takes a notebook out. She starts writing down everything Lisa says he can have and everything that he can't. Then she starts asking questions. What's in that? I've never heard of that. How do you get, where do you make that? I don't understand. How about this? What's his favorite? She gets done. She puts her notebook away. She says, okay, sunshine, what's for breakfast? Apple pancakes, please. It's his favorite. She said, Sunshine, I'm so sorry. I don't have the ingredients. Mom told me how to make them, but I don't have the stuff. How about some bacon and eggs and some special toast? He nodded. She left. Miss Personality came back and took the rest of our order. <laughs> we ate. We left. We were completely satisfied. There's an important point I want to make about being satisfied. A great friend of mine, her name is Kelly Swanson. She says, nobody notices normal. Nobody notices normal. Nobody notices when the members and partners you serve are satisfied. Satisfaction doesn't even get you a ticket to the dance. People at home, they don't care about being satisfied. Listen to me. Satisfaction is what every organization on the planet is chasing. Don't you want enthusiastic ambassadors for your brand? Satisfaction doesn't get you a ticket to the dance. Think about this for a minute. When was the last time you went to a fast food restaurant, got your food, raced home, kicked open the door and said, baby, you're not going to believe it, but today, finally got it my way. <laughs> Day two at Disney. Josh Brown, where are we eating breakfast? Dad, I want to go see Aunt B. Who? <laughs> I looked at Lisa and she said, B, the executive chef, B-E-A. He said, Dad, I want to go see Aunt B. I said, brother, we've got a spreadsheet. He said, Dad, I want to go see Aunt B. Guess where we went? Okay, we're on our way. Down the escalators, we have no reservation. We get to the restaurant. Hostess greets us with the same giant smile. Welcome back, Brown family. No reservation, no problem. We have a table just for you. I'm sure you do takes us to the exact same table we were at the day before. Guess who's working our section? And she still hadn't got the memo. I mean, you would think, I mean, she saw that it was us, didn't even come to the table. She went to the back of the restaurant, and I'm thinking, surely during orientation, somebody told her she works at the happiest place on earth. <laughs> From the back of the restaurant, Aunt B. She comes out, making a beeline to our table. She says, good morning, sunshine, to which I promptly said good morning. She said, I'm not talking to you. Morning, sunshine, what's for breakfast? Apple pancakes, please. 
You got it, baby, coming right up. Oh, t t time out, Aunt B. Do you remember us from yesterday? Yes, sir, I do. Aunt B, yesterday you didn't, sir, why are you calling me Aunt B? <laughs> it's a fair question. <laughs> Sorry, family thing. B, yesterday you didn't have the stuff. True, today you do? Yes, where did you get it? The store. So you sent someone to the store. No, sir, I stopped on my way home last night. We have them all over Florida. Anybody can go. <laughs> I looked at this woman. I asked her probably the dumbest question I've ever asked anybody in my life, and I've asked a lot. I looked at her, and I said, B, why would you do that? Profound answer. I thought that's what he wanted. <laughs> Let me make a note. <laughs> Give the customer or member or partner what they want, whether we serve it or not. Ball game. Guess where we ate every day for eight days.